The next step in restoring this 1930 Ford Model A four-door sedan with a few modifications is to rebuild the motor. So here in Grand Junction, Colorado, here in the valley, I cannot find a machine shop that has a line boring machine to be able to put insert bearings into this block or into this engine. And so I'm having to ship it out. And so that's what the video is all about today is stripping it down to the short block, except for the head that's gonna stay on. And then uh, building a box, a crate for it to be able to have the shipper ship it and uh, get this um, rebuilt. So I've got the wood outside on the garage. I've got all the necessary tools and I've got the desire. So let's get her done. So there you have it, there's the short block. Uh, it wasn't easy getting that flywheel off, I'll tell you that. Uh, even with a nice puller, uh, that thing was wedged on there uh, really tight, so I really struggled. And when it was on the floor stand, the dolly that I had the sitting on before putting on the engine stand, um, it fell over, the whole engine fell over. And uh, my only major screw up for the day, <laughs> so far, day's not over yet. But what I was hoping to do was to salvage the distributor body. And as you can see, the shaft is the only thing remaining. The distributor body is gone. It broke off. So the shaft's gonna be replaced. All this stuff's gonna be replaced. That's the way it goes. It's part of doing restoration. Things happen and it happens. So uh, now at this point in time, what I'm going to do is uh, open up the garage door. I've got plywood or particle board out there with some uh, lumber, four by fours, two by threes. And I'm going to create the cart, um, not cart, but the crate for shipping this thing uh, back east. So stay tuned, there's a lot more excitement to come and hopefully I won't make any more mistakes. Hey y'all, do you need a new grease gun for your Model A? Want me to lube your joints? Nah, I'm just joking, but I'm not joking about this website. It's called modelatshirts.com. They've got some really cool stuff that depicts Model A's. Let's take a look. At the top of the page, click on the year of your car and find the body type. Let's say that it's a 1930 sports coupe. Scroll down and you'll find a number of products depicting a sports coupe. While it lasts, shipping is free, so order today.
well, there you have it. We have the engine all crated up and ready to go to Antique Engine Rebuilding in Indiana. I know somebody was going to ask the question about who am I going to have rebuild the motor. So I'm going to give a shout out to those guys. Uh, but it's on its way to Indiana. You can see I made a handle hole or an inspection hole, if you will. Made it big enough for that. But um, yeah, it was not too bad, just a little time consuming. There was about uh, $80 worth of wood here that I used that I purchased over at Home Depot. So that's not too bad. But uh, it's going to be on its way here next week. And um, hopefully this uh, cherry picker will be get it high enough to the pickup truck bed. I'm hoping, otherwise we'll probably have to manually lift it up. But uh, it's it's not light, that's for sure. It, it's gonna take two people to lift this thing, maybe three people, I don't know. But anyway, so hopefully you learned something here today on how to build a crate for a Model A motor. And um, subscribe to the channel. I'll, I'll have more videos coming as the restoration of this four-door continues on. And thanks for watching.